Hello and welcome to another update. My name is Nancy and this of course is Teddy Bear, our miniature horse. We call him Teddy for short. He's a registered Appaloosa Mini. And this week is a very special week for us. Teddy turns a year and a half old this week. He was born on April the 28th. And so it was fun. I was looking through some of his baby pictures and I'm going to include a few, um, a picture of him the day he was born and just a couple little pictures. You can see how he's changed. He was such a chocolate brown when he was born. And here is baby Teddy right after he was born. And this next picture, he's out in the pasture with his mama and some other mares. And here he is with his mama. She's a very, very sweet mare. And this last picture was the day that we got him. He was a little over four months old. And now, of course, if I come closer to him, he is turning into a few spot, we think. That's what his parents were. He's getting more and more white on him. And uh, it is gorgeous today. Beautiful, beautiful October day. It's in the mid 60s, sunshine, it's gorgeous out. And I am just working with Teddy. I do this occasionally with my minis. I leave Teddy loose to wander around with me here. He is on a long lead and I keep up with him. I don't leave him by himself. I stay very close by and of course I always have my other horses they are in their pastures and he generally will not wander far because the other horses are here. He's not going to leave his herd. Salem I can leave out and actually go do something while I'm outside with him. But I like to do this with Teddy, gets him used to that line. And of course, see, I never tie the line to anything. I never stake it down. It's just loose and it helps him to get used to the feel of a line. If it gets wrapped around his legs, he has to think a little bit to figure out how to untangle himself. And he's over by our grandchildren's playground over here. But um, yeah, he's, uh, I was thinking back over this past year and a half, the things I've learned, the things I that I thought would be the way they would be raising a foal. And then there's things that are different. And uh, his tail, I'm really excited about his tail. Let me get on the other side of him. Of course, foals are born with very short little tails and his tail is nice and bushy, especially for an Appaloosa. And it goes down, the sun's at a bad angle, but it is down to the ground. Yeah, it actually drags on the ground now. He's uh, really grown out his tail. And so uh, as far as his training goes, of course he, is easy to brush, he ties up well, stands quiet, I can pick up all his feet, um, and he leads very nicely. I do a little bit of lunging. I don't do a lot of lunging because it isn't good for their legs yet, maybe more as he gets to be around two, but I lunge him a little bit. Um, I'll take him in each direction, um, mostly walking and trotting transitions, a little tiny bit of cantering once or twice around. And uh, in the past, I've let him go over a jump. He loves to go over things. He loves to jump over things. So once in a while, I'll let him go over a jump. Um, but he is doing just great. And I just cannot stop looking at that deep blue sky today. But um, maybe I can show you just how well he's doing. I'll do a little tiny bit of lunging and a little bit of leading just so you can see how he is doing. And when he turns two in April, we will start being more serious about uh, sizing him with a harness and doing some ground driving with him without pulling any weight. Um, I'll need to get my husband to do some filming for me, so I'll be right back. Okay, here is a little report card for of Teddy. It's been about a year and a half that I've been working with him. Uh, probably a little bit less. We got Teddy when he was a little over four and a half months old, and he's now a year and a half old. I'm going to try to show you just very briefly um, where he's at right now at this age. Teddy walk. He was more interested in the grass. So I'll try that again. Walk. And then as I go to the side of him, that's a good boy. So he's doing really well. And this is how I had been lunging him a little bit. It's just very, it's to establish myself as alpha. Let's go. Walk. Walk. Good boy. Cha-cha. 
and I'm just driving him from his hip. And then when I want him to reverse, I want to step in towards him. I don't want him to move me. I want to move him. I want to make him move his leg. Switch the line, step towards him, tap, tap. And he's doing that very nicely now. Cha cha. And I'll reverse it one more time. Switch the line. Cha cha. Whoa. Stand. Good boy. I want him to stand still now while I walk up to him. Be sure I don't tangle the line around my hand. So he is doing that very nicely. Good boy, kid. Good boy. And then the other thing I've taught him this year is I take him out for walks a lot of time and I think it's nice to let the horses have a treat but I don't want him to be used to deciding when he's going to eat grass. So he is to, ah, ah, he is to stand still and when I tell him it's okay, ah, ah, no, I'm going to say the word T-R-E-A-T -E and lower my hand. Okay, treats. And he knows he's allowed to eat them. So he, this is about where we're at with his training and I'm going to take the phone now from my husband. Now, when Teddy starts to get a little bit older, I'm going to probably uh, measure him for a harness. And of course, harnesses are adjustable to some degree. And I'm going to start slowly working with ground driving um, him because we eventually want to use Teddy for driving. He's too young now to do any type of heavy work, but um, it'll be nice to get a harness on and start ground driving him without pulling weight. And then when we're ready to pull a little bit of weight, I'll probably have him pull the little styrofoam swimming pool noodles and things like that that are very light just to get him used to the motion of it but we think he's going to do very well with that so if you'd like to continue to follow this journey with me please don't forget to subscribe and click like and hit the bell and maybe share with a friend and i will see you at our next update bye for now mm -hmm.